Hello and welcome to another episode of Tech Tips and Tricks. My name is Rudy and today we're going to be reviewing this app called Friendly Plus. Now there is two versions of it and I'm going to get right into it. And what this app is actually designed to do, it has the capability of running Facebook and also, well, you guessed it, Instagram, because they're partnered with uh, Facebook or Facebook basically owns them. But this is a really great app for me, at least, for a number of reasons. And one of them is I have messages right within this app. I don't have to use a separate app in order to get messages. And it also allows me to download videos. So let's say I want to download this video. It's a good friend of mine's here. All I got to do is hit that blue uh, icon that you saw on the on the right hand screen here. You see that where it's got that kind of cloud with the arrow down. You hit that and you get the option to download the video. So that go ahead and do that. There you go. That video is already downloaded. Well, let's say if I want this picture, there is a picture right there. All I got to do is uh, hit that and say you know save and uh, that usually does give me an option I don't know why it's kind of slow right now but uh, usually it does give me an option there to uh, download a picture uh, for some odd reason it's not doing it today but uh, <laughs> let's try it again uh, save let's give that another shot here hmm I don't know why it's not working today I guess they got an error in there but uh, anyways oh there it went there it was starting to, there we go. Now it gave me the option, so I guess it was a little slow there. Then you can go ahead and say save, and let's go take a look in the picture, see if that's in there. You see the photo is in there. There's the photo that was on the Facebook page there, and there is the video. Have a look at that. I guess it's asking me to, asking me to uh, play it somewhere else, but <clears throat> whatever. Uh, so this app is available on the App Store as a free app. You can get the regular friendly app. That one will have ads in it. Or you can get the friendly plus on the app store. And I'm talking about the, uh, uh, you can get it on the iOS version. So I'm using an iPhone 6S plus. So, but it is also available on the Android store. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and leave the links in the, uh, in the description box down below so that we guys can go get it. And the uh, plus version uh, will cost you $2.99 US uh, on the App Store. I'm not sure what it is on the uh, on the uh, Play Store. But the the thing is then you can, you know, always download videos, photos, whatever you want. And the other good thing that I like about this app is when you look right underneath the post, it tells you how long ago it was posted. And this one, uh, if we go ahead and refresh it, it will always give me the latest ones. You see, this one was posted three minutes ago. This one was posted eight minutes ago. And like that, not on the, like if you go on a regular Facebook app, it will give you what they think that you should see, you know? That's one thing that I don't really like on the, uh, on the uh, regular Facebook. And this one allows you to go right into your messenger and then, you know, so you can message right from within the app. And not only that, you can actually go on a desktop version if you if you want, you know. Oh, I guess it's saying this page is not available for some odd reason. Not sure why it's doing that. But you can add more than one account or you can add Instagram if you like. So I hope you guys like this little tutorial. And uh, the number one reason why I like it is because then I can see whatever was posted the latest. And it has the messenger built into it. So you don't need three apps for using this app. It does, however, have a couple of downsides. Sometimes it's a little slow. I've heard on, on the, on the re reviews and stuff like that. And let's say if I go into here and want to comment on somebody's post, uh, let's say if I go in here, it won't allow you to tag people in here. However, you can post a photo and all that regular stuff, you just can't tag somebody in it. That's a couple of downsides that it has to it. But I hope you uh, liked this video. If you did, leave me a big fat thumbs up and share it with your friends so they can go ahead and download this video. And we will see you on the next one.